Hi everyone, this is Richard Byrne at Free Technology for Teachers. And today I want to show you a neat tool for creating your own interactive images. And that tool is called ThingLink. You can find ThingLink at thinglink.com. I've shared this in the past on my blog and I've shared it in webinars. And every time I do, it gets a great response. So I thought I'd give you a quick walkthrough on how it works. As you can see, I'm already logged into my ThingLink account, and I have three options for adding images to my account. In this case, I'm going to add an image from the web. I'm going to add this image here of Mount Everest. I'm going to add from the web, and just paste that in. So this is the image that I'm going to tag. And now to tag it, I simply will highlight a section of the page. Here's the top of Mount Everest. I'm going to say Peak of Mount Everest. And I can link to anything that I want to link to for more information. I might say in this case that this view is from the Rongbuk Monastery in Tibet. So I'm going to link to that Wikipedia page and paste that in and maybe I'll add a little bit more to my description and I'll save that tag now I can add another tag over here I might say that uh, I learned a lot about Mount Everest from Ed Webster by the way Ed Webster is a uh, fellow Mainer like me and uh, has been to Mount Everest on three separate occasions and pioneered a great route up it. But here's his website and I'm going to now link to Ed's website and save it. And I can add as many tags as I want to in it, to this image. In this case I'm not going to allow anyone else to edit but you could uh, open it up to other people. So now I'm done and now when anyone views this image and they click on the place marks or the, the icons that I've added, they can get more information about those particular items. And you can see I can embed the image into my blog or website and I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to copy that code and in my blogger blog here I'm going to simply switch over to the edit HTML and I'm going to show a demo of ThingLink and I'm going to post it. And so now anyone visiting my blog can see the image and they'll be able to click through on the different place marks and they can also embed the image themselves. So that's ThingLink. You can find it at ThingLink.com. I think it's a great way to create interactive images to put on your blog or your classroom website. Uh, I've seen some great examples of history teachers using this with uh, portraits of the portraits of the presidents or portraits of the signing of the Declaration of Independence and tagging the various people that appear in the images. So check it out at thinglink.com.